Hey out there YouTube land, this is Professor Baba of BobbleTube, ready to show you, or rather narrate, shiny speculations for Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon. We're going to look at the two legendaries, which is Lunala and Sun Galeo. I say Sun Galeo because Leo is a lion. Here's what we're going to look at. We're going to take a look at what we expect Nintendo to do, and then what we want them to do. So for Sun Galeo, and yes, I go Sun Galeo rather than Galeo because it's a lion, we're going to look at what we expect them to do. Based on its body right now, to me, it looks kind of like a shooting star because it has this whole essence of its mane, which is kind of in the shape of a comet. So that's part of a whole like sun and space thing. Makes sense to me. If you look at it, it has some red and yellow to it, which is great. That represents the sun and its whole body is white. And the reason why I think it's a white color in its normal state is because we represent light and darkness with white and black. Um, some may argue those are colors. Other people may say they're shades. Doesn't really matter. We're not playing semantics here. We're looking at this Pokemon, this legendary beast to see what it could be. So a yellow color often represents the sun. If you ever just draw a sun and you have like your primary colors or just like a basic 20 pack of a crayon, box you probably just grab a yellow for the sun maybe it adds some orange flares and some red to it but yellow is basically how society or north american society represents the sun so i kind of expect pokemon to um do that and to have a kind of a yellow kind of flare to it maybe a little bit of red add it to the sun and have this final product which basically looks like it is a sun bathed pokemon it actually looks pretty badass what we want them to do as Pokemon fans, is to follow the idea of this giant awesome myth of alchemy and see how the sun was eaten and devoured by this lion. And this lion in question, in, in the pictures and the literature that we know, was this really cool green color. So if we're going under the idea that this is all about alchemy on this Hawaiian adventure, then maybe Pokemon will take this and make it this really cool green color. Of course, we will keep elements of the sun in there and give homage to that. So we'll keep a little bit of yellow and a little bit of red there too. So yeah, we still got the, uh, the red there, a little bit of flare. I like the steel aspect to it as well. That's kind of bringing forth a little bit of alchemy and that is really neat. Here's the final product that we get. It still feels like it is the same line and it still has that really neat aspect to it. Next, we're gonna look at Lunala and we're gonna see what we're going to expect Nintendo to do. So Lunala is obviously based on the moon, hence the crescent shape that it holds in its head and the little pendulum it kind of has at the bottom. The first time I saw Lunala, I was kind of like, hey, this reminds me of a dream catcher. It has that aspect to it. And of course we associate dream catchers with Nighttime, because that's when people go to sleep. Unless you're like me and you work in the emergency room as a nurse and you work crazy hours and you don't sleep at all. But um, yeah, what I'm kind of expecting Nintendo to do is to change up the color variation completely. It's gonna keep the same idea with uh, the moon, which is like, yeah, we're gonna pay homage to the moon. So we're gonna kind of keep it as if it would be like kind of looking to see the different colors that you might see. And this whole idea of this kind of like white, but kind of tinged gray color of the moon that you see in most pictures and the surface of the moon, that's basically the outlining of this color of Lunala. Um, I like in the center how we have what appears to be a full moon on its chest. Awesome creation right there. This is what I'm kind of expecting Nintendo to do let's see if they actually do it or not. These are of course speculations. What we as fans are hoping for and want them to do is a little bit different. What we would like them to do is kind of make it related back to what we see. So just like there is this uh, older idea of alchemy and the whole line in the sun, I would love to see if Lunala turned out to be something related to like a blood moon or like a harvest moon. And these are rare events that do happen and you have to have 
a special horizon for in order for the color and the vastness of the moon to actually be seen, which is something you'll have to just Google because it's kind of complicated and it goes into stuff beyond my understanding. Personally, I think this looks badass. It has this really like dark feel to it, but not like evil necessarily, just like this crimson color, which kind of like makes me think about Dracula a bit. It definitely looks more like a vampire, which was again, one of my initial thoughts because I'm Dreamcatcher. One of my initial thoughts about Lunala was that maybe it's kind of like a vampire, kind of had a bat kind of look and feel to it. So this whole crimson idea is kind of like bringing it back to vampires and Dracula. But the idea is that it is a crimson moon, also known as a red moon, which holds biblical importance as well. So this has been Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon Shining Speculations. What do you guys think? What do you want to see for color schemes? Do you agree or do you disagree with this video? Tell us why in the comments below. And if you like what you saw here, make sure to like and subscribe to Cool Shallow for more awesome Pokemon art and speculations. If you want to see more stuff on my channel, make sure you hop over to BulbTube where I got some facts, some parodies, and heck, if you want to check out more art, why don't you come over and check out a Cleffa and a Bulbasaur being fused together by Cool Shallow himself. This has been Professor Bubba of BubbleTube, signing out.